today's video i'll be doing master studies of my favorite artist john singer sargent the reason why sargent is my favorite impressionist painter is because he opened the door for a lot of us one of his books says that he was careful to insist that there were many roads to roam and that beautiful painting would be the result of any method or no method but he was convinced that by the method he advocated and followed all his life, a freedom could be acquired. A technical mastery that left the mind at liberty to concentrate on a deeper or more subtle expression. And that is very true. Although Sargent has applied all the basic principles in his painting, yet his approaches at odds act with classical atelier training. To be precise, his approach was fun and less stressful. So for this first master study, I'll be painting Sargent's master. Carol is to run. Now, I'm really sorry because I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. So, anyways, Sargent used sparingly a little top and time to rub in a gentle tone over the background and he usually used grey neutral. Well, now for me, I go for raw umber or burnt sienna and a bit of a solvent. You can also use a transparent red oxide. And then, Sargent would transfer the sketch using charcoal to indicate the mass of the air and the tone of the dress and, and the general overall outline. But I'm gonna stick with my brush as always. And I'll be using a bit of a rag or a tissue paper. It could be your choice. In between the session, I made sure to stand and paint, as sitting in the same place for a long time could really cause some pain and, and could really interrupt my focus. Then I took some time away from the painting. Now we all know that Duran always insisted Sargent to study on Velasquez, so Duran was able to make Sargent to simplify even further. His teaching was focused on the study of values and halftones, above all halftones. Here lies, you would say, the secret of painting in the halftone of each plane, in economizing the accents and in the handling of the lights so that they should play their part in the picture only with a palpable and necessary significance. Other things were not as important. This painting by Sargent received an award when it was shown at the Paris Salon in 1879. Now, Duran always teach Sargent to paint more fluidly and Sargent definitely paid homage to his teacher in this painting. For this second master study, I chose the Madame Catru drinking a dose painting. Here I'm not using a brush or pencil here to transfer the subject. I'm just simply using a rag to push off the paint to show where the subject is gonna be. Madame Catru posed as a model for notable artists, but she is most widely known as the subject of Sargent's painting, Portrait of Madame X, which we all know that created a social scandal when shown at the Paris Salon. Did you know that Sargent had to beg for two years to paint her? He was literally obsessed in painting her. 
He produced some 30 studies of her in pencil, watercolor and oil. Because Sargent knew that she was a perfect and a great subject for his paintings. Um, she had a very pale complexion. She was known to use lavender colored face and body powder to enhance her complexion. She tie her hair with henna and color her eyebrows. I love the pose and how beautifully the background on the table blends in and mixes in this painting. And for me personally, a pale skin and a beige lavender clothes when did in Ala Prima feels like porcelain clay bean in its process on the wheel. If you have ever thrown a porcelain mug or anything on the wheel, you will know what I'm talking about. Such fluidity. For this third master study, I am painting the portrait of Sally Fairchild. This was a joy for me to study because Sargent always advised us to lay in thick paints. The thicker you paint, the more color flows and I was able to understand it practically in this painting and Madame Couture's. Because once you have put enough paint down, you can push it around to generate interesting textures and diffuse edges. He advised one of his pupils to paint all the half tones first and always paint one thing into another and not side by side until they touch. By Sargent's method, the head developed by one process until almost at the end there were no features or accents. Simply a solid shape growing out of and into a background with which it was one. He always insisted everyone to simplify what you see to attain maximum sophistication. For this fourth study, I am painting Charles Martin Loeffler. Now I'm using the same method I did so far for the initial stages. I must definitely say that I love painting this one as well. He has a very prominent features and Sargent nailed it with the bows. It was a little tricky to get the heel lined up equally to the high. He has implemented the entire painting with solid highlight and shutter shapes. I love how the hair transitions into his head. And I also love how he has lined up the highlight in the forehead and the highlight in the cheek. And how little he had to paint to show the eyes to make it seem fresh and alive. We have now reached the final study for this video. This is probably one of his many famous paintings, Leon de la Fosse. I started with blocking in the background so that I could judge the value and the chromos of the subject's face and attire more accurately. Now this painting was a full on hour prima as much as possible but I had it covered in a sealed environment to continue it freshly the next day. Now I usually don't do this unless a situation demands me to. As you can see, I'm going back and forth near the nose sections as I wanted it to be as near accurate as possible. Neither of us knows how Sargent started. When we do a master study, you don't have to be able to replicate the artist method or the usage of palette exactly in order to gain a massive insight. Although we have some books and insights of how he worked, one cannot learn how to paint by reading a book, one learns how to paint by painting. Now, if you're interested in watching all these 5 master studies in real time and other exclusive videos, head to my Patreon and get the exclusive to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. 
Until then, keep creating.